Hello there, I thought I'd show you a quick tip on how to stamp these Prima Girls. Prima Doll Stamp Girls. Prima Doll Girl Stamps. This is the page that I've just done the cleaning of the stamps on. And I thought that it was this was sort of looking like a skin colour. So I might as well just stamp her there. And now I'm going to cut, cut her out and put her on a project. Now I've got myself four wonderful mixed media girls to work with. Let's see what I can do with them. I thought I'd make a layout of sorts with this Prima Girl. I did cut her out and I used a scalpel knife to actually cut that opening under her arm. <clears throat> and then I'm actually following a sketch on Facebook and it's a group called A Night A Challenge and if people want to they can actually load, upload their own challenges and people can take part of them and it's a nice way of actually taking part of a scrappy world but still stay at home and take it in your own pace so what I did <clears throat> I took a piece of white paper and I did use quite a lot of uh, tissue tape or washi tape I should say well that's about that so I'm thinking of making this into a sort of Polaroid picture thingy and I'm going to put it on black uh, corrugated paper Here it is is the memory box cityscape nightline and this this die actually does cut like butter so it's a really nice die to work with but I decided that I would break things off if, if I'm going to keep this white around there I do need something else to break it off underneath so I just took a piece of paper underneath and I glued on a piece of dictionary paper and then I run it through my big shot and easy as that it actually die cuts this really nicely so since I am going to keep it like this I thought I'd keep the clock there in the background and that one there somehow and that one there and that one there and then I'm going to finish things off with the girl there and of course there are some more things to do according to that layout but I'll this is how far I've come anyway so I do believe this is going to be quite nice especially since the girl is in sort of a beige looking mode as well as that skyline there and I do like the red clock because then I'm getting keeping things cohesive there and I do like the black corrugated paper and I'm thinking of either perhaps matting it with some white just to bring all those colors together or if I'm just going to keep it black but I do think that either I'll make this black smaller somehow or I'll do something else with it I'll just have to see about things where I end up so that's it for now So this is the final result, as I do believe I'll keep it as right now, pretty simple. And then I decided on using that new stamp that I bought from Art Impressions, Life's Too Short to Act Normal. And then since I am thinking about perhaps taking a trip to Paris, I just thought I'd put that statement there. So this is basically the recipe for that layout. It did have a couple of heart designs and such. You could actually do a bit of decorating if you wanted to, but I think I'll just keep it as it is. I do like it clean. And to finish things off on that black surface, I did drag some white acrylic paint with this. Just dragged it like so, just to give it some kind of an effect. And so it wouldn't be completely flat. So this is my, could it be fifth, paper doll stamp from Prima uh, project and I do like these. And as for the girl, I'm actually keeping her like she is dirty and such. So instead of being normal, you know, I'm just going to go with it. So that's it. Bye bye.